Are you ready to take your automated home to the next level with Hubitat Elevation? Let's get you set up. Inside the Hubitat Elevation box, you'll find the hub, two antennas, an ethernet cable, USB cord, power supply, and quick start guide. Start by affixing the two antennas to the hub. Align them vertically for the best signal. Next, connect the hub to your network router using the ethernet cable. Your Hubitat Elevation hub can also connect to your network via Wi-Fi, but it is strongly recommended that you use an ethernet connection wherever possible for the best uninterrupted performance. Try to position your hub as centrally as possible in your home for maximum range and avoid placing it in a metal cage or cabinet that can create interference. Now attach the power supply to the hub using the USB cable and plug it in. The LED light will turn blue and remain that way for a few minutes as the hub boots up. When the light turns green, it is ready to be activated. Scan the QR code on the quick start guide or visit go.hubitat.com to start the discovery process. Select setup, then tap through the setup instructions we have already covered until you reach the discovery step. Tap find my hub to begin the discovery process. This can be done from your mobile device or computer. If using a mobile device like this, be sure that the mobile device is on the same network as your hub. Discovery will not work if your phone is connected to a cell tower or a different network. Tap on my new hub once it is discovered. Now tap on update firmware now. This will take a few minutes and the hub will reboot itself. Hit continue once the update is installed and the hub is rebooted to bring up the welcome screen. If you are migrating your data and devices from a previous Hubitat Elevation hub, you can do that by tapping the cloud backup link. Otherwise, tap get started. Agree to the terms of service, give your hub a name and enter your zip code. The zip code is used to set the time zone and sunrise sunset data for your hub. You can refine your hub's exact location later on in the hub settings. Next, you will be asked to register your hub. Registration is required to use any Hubitat cloud services or remote access capabilities such as the mobile app, hub mesh, or cloud dashboards. When registration is complete, you will reach the Hubitat Elevation UI. On your first time entering the UI, a getting started wizard will open up. This will guide you step by step through adding your first device. We have a complete video tutorial on adding Zigbee, Z-Wave, Z-Wave Long Range, Wi-Fi, Matter, and other LAN devices in the links below. If you're not ready to add a device, you can skip this step and add devices later. Once you add devices, you will find them listed here on the devices page. Devices can also be organized by rooms, which you will see here. Using rooms can make managing and automating your devices more intuitive and efficient. Another popular way to monitor and control your smart home devices is with Hubitat dashboards found here. Once you create a dashboard, you can use drag and drop to set up devices exactly as you like to see them displayed on your mobile device, tablet, or desktop. A full dashboard tutorial can be found in the links below. The apps page is where you will automate your home. Your new hub comes with the basic rules app pre-installed. This is a traditional if this then that style rules engine that you will use for most of your straightforward automations. For more specialized or advanced automations, you can click here for a complete list of free built-in apps that can be added to your Hubitat system. This includes apps such as button controller, lock code manager, thermostat scheduler, the powerful rule machine rules engine, and many more. To manage your smart home from your mobile phone, we highly recommend downloading the Hubitat mobile app, which is available in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. The app is loaded with features and it adds functionality to your hub by turning your mobile phone into a present sensing device. Check out our mobile app video for more details. You're now ready to start automating your home with Hubitat Elevation. We recommend bookmarking the IP address of your hub from your browser so you can quickly get back to the hub UI at any time. You should also take a minute to reserve this IP address for your hub in your router to make sure it doesn't change. Check your router documentation as each router handles this process differently. Home automation is fun and rewarding, but it can have its challenges. If you run into any hurdles, don't worry, help is always just a tap or two away. For starters, check the video description below for links to the video tutorials mentioned throughout this video. Or click on our YouTube page for dozens of tutorial and automation idea videos to keep you informed and inspired. For written documentation, check out our online documentation at docs2.hubitat.com. You can also find links to app documentation by tapping this icon here when you're using the Hubitat UI. And perhaps our best resource is our robust online community at community.hubitat.com. Here you will find a welcoming group of home automation enthusiasts who share their ideas, create community apps and integrations, and are eager to offer advice if you ever get stuck. Hubitat staff also frequents the community forums to offer support. This is also where they post the most up-to-date information about the latest Hubitat Elevation platform releases. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your home with Hubitat Elevation.